Hello. Hello. <laughs> Mattia. Nice to meet you. You as well. Uh, even though we've known each other or known of each other within this space for, you know, a year about now almost because... Almost. Um, yeah, you you are actually one of my earliest collectors. Yeah, I suppose so. In digital. Yeah. In digital yes, form. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, so thank you so much. You know, that meant, uh, meant a lot. Um, <laughs> I see you have a beautiful painting behind you there. Um, yeah. Wow. I mean, this is a great, a great start. Um, you know, you and I have never actually spoken before, and I'm yep. super curious about your work. Um, like the scale yeah. of that piece is is large. So, how about yeah, um, yeah. as um, a way of uh, of starting this out? Why don't you tell me a little bit about the process you have of making that piece behind you there? That is, oh, if I understand, that stamps. The this one, this one is created yeah with rubber stamps like I'm used to do uh, since 2017, and basically I have these wood wooden stamps. Um, I take one just to show you. Yeah, <laughs> that was my speaker. <laughs> yeah, that weird sound we all just heard was my uh, Bluetooth speaker for my vinyl player turning off or telling me that it's turning off. <laughs> Sorry, Here I chose two pieces because I show you one when is basically clean and one when is very dirty, so it's better to understand it. They are made of wood. I made it by myself. I, 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 I buy the, the, the pieces of wood by meter and then I got the, the circular uh, so and I cut the, the stamps and then I, I, I glue uh, up uh, in this material that is from an Italian firm, it's called Fila, uh, Fabrica Italiana Lapis ed Affini, basically that, may, that uh, uh, it's uh, uh, a firm that makes uh, uh, pencils and something similar, okay, it's an acronym that means this, and this particular material is called um, Adigraph, is, is um, uh, something uh, really, really, um, gummy thing mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. is supposed to be used from the child uh, to be um, to be carved okay so they they learn to do carving with this material before doing linoleum okay but i use this because it's cheap because you can find it everywhere and then the dirty one you know then becomes all all black uh, with, with the inks. Mm -hmm. Now I'm using this kind of ink that is uh, China ink, but I have made also in the past with um, acrylic ink and uh, water-based ink. Now in the last, uh, in the last, uh, this is another rubber stamp, okay? And these are the, the first with water-based. Okay, and, and in the last uh, in the last year, basically, I am using all the things together because I have learned that water-based things tend to fade away. So I, I have created this this uh, this concept uh, around this, and it's called the time foldables because you can bend the time, and also they are folded, so you you can bend the time, you can actually fold the, the, the physical piece. And then in the digital realm, the token is very, very slow. So there's a little bit of, of this and that. This, uh, this is the, the, last, the, last, uh, the last thing. And then uh, I choose the, the ink. If the ink is water-based, you can find the, what the, the stamp, the one that you put ink inside, okay? oh. because it doesn't tend to, to evaporate. And they make this and I put on, on, on the on the on the paper and I find out that this kind of thing always tends to stay a little bit on the on the surface of the rubber stamp and then in this actually let me do this kind of shades oh yeah because in my in my ideas the system was supposed to do this only full color but yeah, when okay. I, find, I found out that i can do shades phew, my mind <laughs> away. oh come on i can do something that no one i've never done before because it is wrong it is really wrong doing a stamp mm -hmm. and then use it in that way in, in, in a way that, that you that you can actually uh, control every time if we look closely let me let me every time i use the, the stamp every time is is something is something different 
something different and and the and the and the forming the the the, the, the form of, of this um the discharge of color okay is different the pattern every time is different and also from the surface this one is special because mm. this one has got no grid but if i take other ones you you can see that i use uh, some kind of grids i i have uh the system is composed from the paper that has got a grid and also you can you can see that there are some uh, small points point. So the, the system, the system is the rubber stamps and the, the grid. This is the system. But then going out of grid, like in this this case, is the next step. Okay. So I am trying to push in the limit to go in, going out of the comfort zone, uh, working with hands where I cannot do too much computer because if I do all in computer, you know, stay on the computer every day, every time you are, you know, and I've, I've seen that you also mm -hmm. do like this. And also you can, you also go away very far from the cities to, to stay away from the machines. Yeah. Maybe. Absolutely. I will need also that one day. <laughs> <laughs> but wow, this process is absolutely, I mean, it's stunning. And there's so many elements of it that speak to me, uh, especially when you say, you know, like the unexpectedness of using the, the stamp when it's only half full or partially full of the ink to get different um, textures and also different uh, shades of gray which then you're able to now uh, make these um, shapes that, um, as you said, you were expecting it to be very blocky and two-dimensional, yeah. but but now you're able to do shading and make it almost yeah. three-dimensional. And in fact, these last time foldables, I use artificial intelligence to ex extract sort of, of depth, of a depth um, map, I don't know how to say better. Because I have bought uh, three years ago this holographic uh, uh, screen, okay, and with the holographic screen there was this this uh, these tokens to be to 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 do the conversion in two D from two different three D, okay, and I have got this friend that is Leonardo Dentico, another crypto artist that uh, uh, make it for me uh, this Blender file. I put inside. The, the high resolution photo and then the, the map and basically you find out this kind of three-dimensional thing and I put the lights on it and I create another version of the same digital thing and it's really good because I was always searching to get out from the B dimensions okay because when you stamp it's always really B dimensional mm -hmm. and I do always black and white I will use also color but anyway the the the, the is like that there's something missing for me okay so i am trying these technologies to try to put out this this kind of new three-dimensional thing i don't know if i will afford it if we <laughs> find out the, the way but this is what, what I, am, I am trying to do i see it all i mean uh, you're you're definitely the process of your exploration uh is super inspiring like you the you can see the ways that you're playing with this in order to get further and do different things the what it's super interesting to me just because it, it to me it's so unique your work is unique not even just within the crypto space but like outside of the crypto space i've never really seen an artist work in the way that you do and i absolutely and, love and it. you and, know lately i i am also pushing even more this because i want to show to the younger that is not only blender and rendering and so mm -hmm. beautiful paintings with, with but there's also something that you can do hybrid things <laughs> you're gonna get the best results when you do the hybrid really? a drill did, did you listen there was a drill. I, was that a motor it sounded like a motorcycle <laughs> something similar i do a lot of these schemes also to try to to figure out what i'm doing this one is from ethereum's uh, tezos and Whoa. near but 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 it's not it's not it's not the the meaning I, I see i have a lot of different uh, um, works going on a lot, a lot of different projects the ones with rubber stamps the one with sky golpe the ones yeah, okay. with all, all, all the other people doing audio part too. So I, I have to schematize somehow. And this is the graphic part. Or also I do this. Some kind of oh, projects, awesome. uh, projects or, or, yeah. or small uh, thumbs to understand Thumb, better. Yeah. Yeah. 
doing by the hand. The way that you, uh, the way that you have your schematics of like the, <laughs> the map, you have like a, you draw a map. I make lists. Like I'll exactly, write down a list, you know? I, I, I do, is... <laughs> I do ma maps in this and do also yeah. maps because sometimes <laughs> there, there was there was a really interesting American. Come on, they haven't worked for all the day, and now they work around with drills and so on. Come on, with skills. <laughs> Let me close the window. Okay. The way uh, there was uh, this American um, um, artist that in his life was a journalist, actually, that was always doing this kind of super mega big schematics about uh, uh, the Cold War, about Iraq War, and he was killed inside of his uh, flat, inside of this, this building, because it was too much precise in what is. And the, the schematics are really similar to this. So oh, wow. also this works in my head, but I, I have this, this book that is plenty of, of the schematics and stuff. Maybe I can show you something. Oh, this is a prototype of the rubber stamps. How to package, oh, awesome. how to package wow. them inside of a box. <laughs> <laughs> never, ne never done. And also a lot of fonts. That's cool. I love fonts. Yeah, we are me and Des and Luca Devino. You have also collaborated yeah. with him. We are always working and playing around and thinking about how to do uh, fonts and so on. Can I so, ask you how how did you come to the stamp idea? You said you started in twenty seventeen. Yeah, but the idea was even before because this this particular um, book is from 2013. So my first eff effort was this kind of schematic. Oh wow! There's an algorithm behind behind it. So you can you you can uh, complete the whole surface doing this this kind of uh, of. Um, of lines you, always going straight and going 45 degrees if you start you from one on, point are you doing that on grid paper yeah okay okay great yeah the same of, of my of my of my drawings and so the idea was to start in one point and then go around and then closing the figure oh. and then you create this pattern of uh, black and white and red or black and white, whatever you want. And this is the start, 2013. Then in 2016, 17, oh. I have started doing these stamps like this, but also carved for, for the people, like for uh, Ex Libris or, or to, to, um, uh, to print the name of, of the property mm -hmm. of something, okay? Mm -hmm. I have done one for me, the first logotype, for me, the, the, the famous one, that is the, the one that you can also see back ah. there. Okay, that is, is, is like a, a small uh, antenna kind of, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that is wrong because it's obviously the first time that you do is mirrored, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but course. it's my logo type. I've decided that in that, that case is correct. If you yeah. don't, is, is this way so they are yeah, yeah. Wow, that's cool. and then and then i have created uh, a system of modular rubber stamps like this okay so there was the square the triangle the the circle a quarter of circle okay for the for the kids because i have also a non-profit organization uh, of the um, of entertainment and uh, education something similar so i have tried to mix up the things i create something from my art uh, background to, uh, to, to be uh, used from, from, from these kids. So it was actually a system for the kids. I have sold one kit, I've got two kits more, and then I have done nothing, they, they stay there for one year. Then I have told myself, by myself, okay, I can try to do these kind of things from 2013, okay? And there was a friend of mine that needed some prints for his, uh, for his living room, and I proposed him this. This is what the, the, is the very the very first rubber stamp artwork. It's really big wow. because physically is is even more larger than this one. Okay. So it's it's like a quarter. But 
he 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 didn't accept this artwork. Oh really? Yeah, they told me, oh, it's not uh, it's not okay. So I have um, uh, tried more. I have created this with the acrylic colors on, on the on the back, and then I have rubber stamped it. And this neither. <laughs> no, he, he didn't. Oh, no, I, he has got another series. <laughs> he has got another series of always black and white, but no no tokens of this. And then I've started basically. I I, I had a lot of this first series of artworks. And in the same moment, I have uh, learned about super rare and about non origin in the summer of uh, 2018. Oh. And then in the autumn, September, uh, I have created my first token in non origin, that it was actually uh, an old work. And in uh, November, I suppose something similar in non origin, in super rare, sorry. And it was. Uh, let me see if I can find out the very first piece tokenized in Super Rare. This yes. was 2018. This, this one. This one. Uh, explosion, sort of. In 2018, is that right? Yeah. Wow. This is the first, and then here in this booklet, I, you can find this PDF in the description of my 100 token, that is, is the first <laughs> rubber stamp. Wow. Paper. Yeah. So this catalog, amazing. I have found it some days ago because I was What is this book? Rubber stamp artworks, Mattia Coutini, 2018 to 2020, tokenized rubber stamp artwork. Did nah, you publish it nah. yourself? Yeah, yeah. Printed and shipped everywhere. Awesome. 20, 20, 25 pieces, no, 30 pieces, and this one is a test for me, okay? Yeah. Uh, I was used to do this in 2020 because of COVID, so I told myself, what I have to do here? I have started I, I have started with generated artworks that are the ones created with artificial intelligence because mm -hmm. I wasn't able to be here because this is another place, it's not my home. Oh, this is the, I This see. is the studio. I, I can't come here so i started to, to play around with artificial intelligence and i've created the first booklets for that project wow. and then after i have created this so i have three 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 booklets uh, four four because there's one for the paper cuts uh, that is really old 2017 mm -hmm. and then there are two for generated artworks and then this one also something other in pdf i have always the idea in my mind to restart also the self-publishing thing because there's a lot of material, a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of yeah. differ different, uh, uh, different ways to create in my, my productions. Uh, and now I am exploring, I am trying to, to teach people and to have like a group of, of collaborators to help me do this because there's too much to do. Yeah, I really like books for that reason. When you make a lot of work, a book is a really nice way of putting yeah. it all together to see it all together, even for yourself. I have all, I'm almost bought yours. I did. I don't know if I bought it. No, I didn't. I have to write it down. I'll get you a copy. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. no, no. I, 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 I will buy it because because I like it so. Jesse Draxler. Um. I want to I want to ask a few things. You, you, there's so many things to ask, actually. I want to first, I guess it doesn't seem like it is a direct relation, but it's hard for me not to put a direct relation between uh, your rubber stamps and like a pixel. Yeah, this is an, another another thing. In the first times I was doing like pixel art. This is from from my first uh, exhibition, in fact, and if you can see I, I respect the, the grid. Yeah. But then one day I told myself, oh, who cares about the peaks? I was like, <laughs> yeah, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's great. That's a, it, it's yeah. just a really nice relation in how much, how far you're pushing it away from a pixel. You know, it's very, it's so far from a pixel, but yet so close to a pixel. There's a real yeah. beauty in that. It's like a provocation, I suppose, that uh, we as artists, we we have to do provocation and we we have to provoke as much as we can as we want 
and this is a provocation in a way. You can tell it's pixel art or it's art artisanal. In the first days, there was this kind of discussion in super rare. Oh, well, this is not real digital art. You only scan the stuff. Yes, but it's in pixels. So who cares, basically? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> this, this, this was the point for me. And now I have pushed more the thing. That I have more money, more time to do this. And it's okay because I don't want to be paid a ton of money if I work mm -hmm. only five minutes around that yeah. network. Okay. But because I'm, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm from a place in Italy that we are used to work a lot to have, to have a result. So. I understand that. Me too. I'm from a very, you know, a very worker family. So like, I, I love to work. I, I'm always working. I wake up in the morning, I go to work and I work all day because I love what I do. And I know that you're the same exact way. Yes. I see your, your passion is so contagious. Your, your whole attitude is contagious. Like, uh, yeah. it's, it's a beautiful thing to behold. And, um, that, that beautifully leads into, uh, I would love to hear maybe about, your early life, your your childhood a little bit, like, you know, you're you're in Italy. Did you grow up in Italy? What kind of family did you have? Was it a creative background? Um, oh, well, my, my, my mother and my father was uh, work, working people. My father was was a, a technician, almost a technician. He, he was used to, to repair Xerox machines, Xerox copy mm. machines. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? No, how but fucking perfect, Jesus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but but I never tried to do art while while uh, while he was working. So it happened also after. Okay, so I have started my career. Let's see, like like an electronics engineer, and not an engineer, electronics uh, technician. Okay, I was supposed to go university and, be, and become an, an engineer. I never been. In, in a university, I started doing uh, the electronic technician because I was already interested in synthesizers, you know, and things like this. And I have been always in this techni technical school. In this technical school, they don't tell you you can use electronics to do art. Okay, you can almost move move some motors and so on. And then uh, uh, I have made almost ten years in a very small firm, but very very good one because we was producing everything inside so starting from uh, metal parts carved by by uh, digital uh, machines and also uh, we was producing pcbs of, of electronics components and so on so i was like uh, <clears throat> I don't know how, how do you call it in american a, a guy that does everything and nothing mm -hmm. uh, a jack of all trades yeah, like a, a roadie, okay, of, of, <laughs> of my company, because I was used to to talk with the, with the with the companies, talk, talking with clients, and uh, talking with everybody, doing the the, um, the documentation both in Italian and translated in English. In that mm. days, I, I wasn't aware about Adobe systems and how to to connect the files. So I've got my Acrobat. And then I was producing the files from CAD, from Word, and then assembling all the, the things together. And you know, I'm, when I'm the, so sorry. I just have yeah. to plug my computer in. It's yeah, gonna die no on problem. Me. I, I am here. I am here. There we go. All right. I apologize about that. No problems, my dear coded Drexler. <laughs> Continue, please. Yeah, and, and so I was doing all the things around the engineering. Hmm? I didn't, uh, I never been an electronics engineer, but I was a, a really good uh, assembling guy. So I was assembling things and testing and doing all these things together. Uh, and at the same time, the money of, of that work was going uh, to buy synthesizers because in the days I was playing uh, with local bands and doing gigs and so on. And so this was my first okay artistical things doing this kind of prints and stuff to promote my my gigs and so on i i never That's had amazing i never had a lot of fortune in that that i always played but i never had 
exposition. Now that I have 500 of new followers in Twitter, you say, oh, come on, it's crazy. It's, I never, I, I was supposed to do this 50 years ago, not now. <laughs> come on. <laughs> It's so stupid. Yeah. Any, anyway, this is my, my, my life. Then I finished my, my, my career in electronics because of, of the, the crisis in 2011, something like this. Because electronics components was really difficult to find out. People didn't pay us and so on. I've, I have tried for three months to work with no money. And then I've told my, my, my boss, my boss that there is no more on this earth because of COVID. Let me say this. Oh. Yeah, I'm really, really, this was a, a really bad thing for me. Anyway, go. yeah, repeat, repeat, uh, rest in peace. And so um, after nine years, 10 years of working in this firm, uh, basically I was, I, 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 I was the firm in such a way because I, in, in, in the last days we were in three people doing everything. So I have started like being the, the, the man with the, with the, with the uh, Neo Dio, uh, the cleaning guy. Yeah, and yeah, I, the I mob, have, yeah. yeah. the and, uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was, I was 18 and come on, and my friends, oh, let's do the photocopies, let's do this, let's do that. And I finished basically doing everything. This is the technical thing. During that days, I've played the synthesizer, keyboards, and so on, and created art also with Xerox machines because my boss didn't care. Oh, come on, he does crazy things with Xerox machines. And also because of my father was the guy that was cleaning the machine of that company, I was always playing around because, uh, you know, the paper jams and so on. Mattia does that this, the toner, all the Mattia, the paper. I was the, 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 the Xerox machine guy because, and so I had the, the complete, uh, uh, availability of, of that machine. And I've made my, my first artworks of that. Then I've changed the, the company and I have done uh, um, a night a night school for for uh, uh, for graphical software. So all the, the suite, the Adobe suite and uh, design, Photoshop, Illustrator, like a technician. I have finished also that, that and then I have started uh, to work uh, in the Graphical, uh, graphical. Uh, uh, I cannot find the words. Sorry, it's late. Uh, no problem. Uh, in the graphical market, in the, in, in the graphic design uh, yeah, department, graphic design market. Yeah, then yeah. web design because I, I, I was a little nerd, so so I was trying that. And then at the finish of the, of the things, I have opened a, a fiscal position in Italy. Then I worked three months, and then COVID arrived. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I have started doing these things, and then they all always all exploded in my hands. I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't, um, uh, it wasn't planned to become an artist. Okay, so I'm an artist, but I, 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 I didn't uh, search it out. This it happened. Well. To me, it sounds like you were a born artist, you know, it like found you, you were meant to be this, you know, like you didn't need to try to be one, you just are one. It's very clear to me. Maybe, at least. Yeah. it's possible. <laughs> um, I love the Xerox connection, both with your father and the fact that like you say, your first artworks were made on a Xerox machine. And I love how you say that. And you uh, know, when, you know when the I, machine inside it up. Yeah, right? absolutely. It's a, it's a tool that you know how to In use. In fact, in fact, the educational edu edu education part for me is really important. Also, because I know how they are inside. I want to take him somewhere in the world mm -hmm. to teach how they are work. Mm -hmm. And there's also <laughs> and there's also a piece done in rubber stamps for NFT boxes, the pranksy, the pranksy thing called the called me, and I've told Cody, okay, I have to do one thing about Xerox machine. And I have done the schematic of the Xerox oh. machine, but in rubber stamp. So there are 500 wow. NFTs with the schematics. I, I don't know if people catch the meaning really, but I don't care. It doesn't matter, right? It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. And, and, and also, in that days when I was a kid and was going um, at my father's office, um, my father, um, uh, it's not an office, a place where you repair things, okay? Uh, there was plenty of these catalogs about letters because in that day also the typewriters, you 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 have the, the, the fonts that you can change and so on. Mm -hmm. So maybe all these things 
somehow mm-hmm. have become part of my DNA. When, when I do my, my things, I always say that I am like a, a, a German <laughs> because I was yeah. so, so square. <laughs> yeah. and, and also, and also an- another thing, I have tried different fonts. This one is like a Futura font, modified, yep. redesigned from, from, a, uh, from people of, of, this, of this, uh, this city. The, my 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 teacher of graphic design and this one is called ebm plex if you look at the presentation of ebm plex it says that is a font uh, created to become um, a bridge between between uh, men and machines huh. that this is the same that i say of my art yeah that's amazing so, it all is so, like perfect, perfect. energy Perfect synergy and all those things. It's incredible. And the more I go ahead and more these things are happening. I don't know why. Because it's meant to be. Those are signs along the way that you're on the the right path. Yeah, I love that. I mean, and you're, like I said earlier, your attitude is so contagious. Like you're so positive and that's so apparent that like the universe is going to support that kind of, uh, you know, how. You have it's a lot a, of love, you can tell your soul. It's also a, a mask. It's also a mask. I, I am I am talking with you. I am really happy to be with you. But after this talk, you be sure that I'll be... Uh. <laughs> well, but I mean, even even the energy that you put out into the world and that you share with other people is very positive. We all have that, you know, other side as well. But um, I want to ask about the music. I love that you, you said like uh, a lot of it mm-hmm. seems like your visual practice kind of stemmed from needing visuals to co- uh, yeah, complement yeah. music. I, I was, I was, uh, I started to play piano and synthesizers for, for, uh, uh, for playing with, there was a local small blues, blues band, basically it was 16, 17. I was playing organs and pianos. And I started with that. Then the, the, the band finished because the, also the school times finished. I started going to work. And then with a friend of mine, I have restarted doing a, a, like a pop pop group in Italian. But I, won't, I don't want to talk about that <laughs> because I was really young. And the music is so good. But then, you know, there are, there are relationship, relationships with, with people. And then you accept something that is not really your art, but it's also because you are friends. And so yeah. the things are mixing together. But it was really cool because the electronic part, the synthesizing part was really, really cool. My first uh, uh, six months of, of work was only to, to buy a car and to buy uh, the synthesizers that I wanted. That was Access Virus C, the only <laughs> uh, synth- synthesizer that was able to create every possible thing because it was the, one of the first digital Okay. And without the zipper, the zipper noise, the, 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 if you remember before in the 90s, there were the first digital synthesizers. But when, when you pitch the, 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 mm-hmm. the knobs, you mm-hmm. always, there was like a, a sound that the, the, the was, yeah, I know what str- you mean, yeah. was strange compared to the analog. And the Access Virus yeah. was one of the first digital without the zipper nose and everybody was saying, oh, it's crazy, it's impossible. And it was so great for me to have this hybrid to play around. Then I finished the, 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 the that, 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 that uh, I don't know, uh, how do you say in English? <laughs> the, 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 the band was closed down, okay? Oh, okay. And, they, yeah. and they have restarted. In the ba- in the same houses in the same basement, but <laughs> in the in the one of of, of the other <laughs> flat flat made because in the same time people was changing the rooms. It was so crazy. Also, oh, I've listened you when I when when you was a, when he was playing in that band in, in, my, in, the, in the oh can you play with us? Okay, I will play with it. And I started doing this hybrid of. Uh, hip hop uh, something like f- urban music i don't know how to say but in our local language this friulano and then we evolved in italian and for this reason the first of blues the first, then pop music but with strange always never had visibility or never had uh, mm, fortune in this when we were mm-hmm. starting to publish <laughs> compact discs in 2011 
At the same time, we had a very big featuring that was Caparezza, that is really famous in Italy. It was started to sell in compact disc, and then the distributing company <laughs> closed it down. Oh, <laughs> so Jesus. Basically, yeah, and now I have found my ways to, uh, uh, to recycle that, uh, all the things, because mm -hmm. the, the music part for me now is not a problem. I don't have to split down. I am a musician. I am a graphic designer. Because of NFTs, you can put everything inside. And yeah. this is for me. When I when I have reached that that, that, that idea, okay, it's amazing. In fact, I have got three pieces in Super Rare with three audio tracks, and you can play them together. I don't know if really? no no other artists have done the same. Yeah, you open in in another tab of your browser, they can play together because they are perfect. Note. And well, one day, uh, when did you when did you mint those? Uh, the last one was in this year, and the 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 two they they are they are three, and one is uh, of the the fine and the fine series of Playform, so it's 2020 2021 in the in the in the middle of 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 of, the, of these two years. Sounds uh, super cool. And then there is one more, uh, the yellow one that it was for dystopian visions, yellow pulsing map. And then the last one is uh, uh, the white, uh, the white pulsing map. And the first two are field recordings. So I have, I have uh, for the first one, I have, I have find out a Korean street in. in in their Kiev. The second one I have recorded by myself this street after after the rain, after the storm. And then the last one uh, is really minimal, playing with my Wurlitzer. I have I have uh, I had, uh, had the chance to buy one with the money of Ethereum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I always wanted that a, a, a real electric piano, mm -hmm. not not uh, uh, not. Mm, not an electronic device yeah. that imitates an electronic. Elect not, not one that mimics one, but a real yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. A real one because, because I wanted one. Because I, of course. I, I, I want to, 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 to broke my back, <laughs> not to take that around it. Try to carry it and move it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and then I played also some, a small, a small tune to complete the, ambient music of the others to others uh, pieces i'm i'm curious what kind of music you listen to do you listen to music when you work yeah and you will be able to understand what music because for fake whale i will do also the the, the great small, the small the playlist uh, playlist also for for uh coded selfies for the all the rest we have done a Spotify compilation. Oh, did you? You can find in all the rest.io. But I, I basically, I, I can scroll it to Spotify, let me, let me say. Well, no, that's great. Um, the all the rest.io, that you have a playlist there. Yeah, let, 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 me, let me look at, at my library and I will tell you Yeah. what, what kind of people do you, do you know? Dani, che ti piace? Si, ma apri, zio. See if I know anything that you listen to even. It sounds yeah, like you have quite they're, eclectic they're, taste. They're, yeah, you are, you are more a, a, a black metal guy, I know. <laughs> I listen to a little bit of everything. There's this, this girl that I listen lately from Texas. It's called Amanda Pascali. He's from Italy. He has got some, some ancestors in Italy. So he, he also uh, sings in Italian, but it's really cool. It's uh, really Amanda Pascali. Then I have Justice. Oh. Justice. Hani Arani, that is a piano player, really good. Imagine Hip, Moderat, yeah. Ra Radiohead, yeah, a lot of Radiohead. Moderat is really cool. Yeah, Young Hopkins is right, is Young Hopkins, mm -hmm. is without the age. Stromae, Richie Hawking, uh, then there is a, a lot of um, Nine Inch Nails, a lot of classical music played by Viking Guru Olafsson, that is a really cool. Uh, Piano player, Max Cooper, Buka Shade, Massive Attack. Yeah, the, the, the things that we was used to, to listen in the 90s. Come on. Rikes up, but for lashes. Yeah. Bad, bad keep bones from Partisad, Snoop, Dog, 
a little bit of a little bit of hip hop, but not all the hip hop because I get bored. Okay, I, I am not good enough in English, so I can mm. understand, but it takes me a lot of time. So I have both watched the throne. I, I, I do know that 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 album was crazy, incredible, but then okay, something. Mm -hmm. Something else, and then also Alvanato, Ryuchi Sakamoto, yeah, also some other local uh, people. Beautiful, that, yeah, that no, it's a very great. It's place. very, yeah, very, but, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it, it made, a lot of it makes sense to me actually. For for you, I love it. Um, in you, okay. So if we want, we can go to all the rest.io, see a playlist. You'll make a playlist for Fake Whale. But um, you touched on that. All you the can, rest. You can ask me everything. I also, I can. I have also some material here. I can show you a, a little well, bit of my studio. What I would, want. what I would love is to hear about the coded selfies and the, all the rest project a little bit. The the collaboration you did with Sky Gope, because when I talked with Sky Gope about it, he said that this project, um, you know, really originated with you, and you had this crazy idea of, uh, you know, you were working on this thing, and I would love to hear about how how yeah. you came up with the idea or what you're trying to do with it. Every just give me it's some all, background on this. It all started last year when I was uh, with, with Sky, uh, and we have done uh, a, a lot of collaborative art. Yeah. Only two are out, but there are a bunch. But yeah. then after a year, we are not really happy with that. So I have only choose to, it's a part of the process. I, I don't care because totally. working with him for me is the most natural things. One of my, the most natural things. I don't know how it's possible because we are like uh, the day and night. We are completely different past. Yep. <laughs> and then we work together, come on. Oh, it works out. Do whatever you want. It's okay. But come on, it's not okay. <laughs> so we started this collaborative project, and then we have struck the two pieces. One we go uh, physically to Mocha, and the other one is tokenized in, in 20, 20 pieces in non origin. Non origin because was was the first uh, platform for SkyGob. So for that thing of, of of creating a sort of loops. Okay, and then I have I have created the logotype of, of all the rest because mm -hmm. I told Mattia and I told Sky God that um, we we have to, to create a brand for this because people need brands and also because I have this thing in, in my head after this all these years of COVID and so on. Where is the rest? The rest of us. Uh, the time we have to spend when we have to rest. Uh, so mm -hmm. there are a, 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 lot, a lot of a lot of meaning, you know. Uh, and here there is, I I swear that is here a, a whole book. <laughs> yeah, all the rest. Look, awesome. The very blocky, blocky wow. first thing. And Tomatia, how 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 do you? Because um, Sky Gobe is really really good with branding and naming and so on. Oh yeah, it's really really precise. So I I give him a, a lot of ideas. And then if if Mattia blocks me, oh that is okay. I know that. Yep. Is okay. so, <laughs> yeah, he's so good at so, that. So I I have pushed him all the rest. How 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 do how do you? How do you do? Do you listen to it? How do, do you feel with it? And then we have started playing around with the thing. I told, I told Mattia, I told Sky uh, we will do the uh, the artworks. We will do um, a website. We will do a logotype. We will do uh, the font because also the font is, I, I made it based upon the upon the. the the logotype, there is a font that is also made in this modular way, like my my rubber stamps, is something similar. Okay. Uh, and then I, I I have found out uh, um, looking around to other people and other projects. Uh, and now I am really in a difficult position because I have to spell it in English. <laughs> the project about E R T D F G C V B. Andrea Andrea Sijing is the guy that does everything with ASCII code. Okay. And if you look at your keyboard, you can find the E R T D F G C F B. Uh, 
Okay, <laughs> and now you can remember it. This guy is really crazy. Basically, he does a lot of art and also on his website, there is this ASCII tool. You can play around with ASCII codes and the webcam, and then you can create these animations, but it's, free, it's for free. You can download it, upload in your website, choose the font, the right font. It's not easy because mm -hmm. it's for, you cannot use his font. But basically, this, 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 this thing is free. And I told, Mate, and I told Sky Gop, what happens if after all the faces that we do together, there will be the face of the people on the, all the rest.io? And then all started from that thing. And then it goes really well. And Skygoba told me, oh, we have to tokenize this thing. Mm -hmm. And all exploded. I was really, really worried in that days. Skygoba was so happy. Oh, they are all playing around. It was, oh, super aware. Oh, come on. What they are doing? They are spending money. What they are spending money? I don't know. I am always like this. And with Skygoba is always like this. He say, oh, it's really good. I say, it's a shit. I say, he really says it's a shit. Come on, we are always crazy. <laughs> what kind of phone do you use? iPhone, Mattia. Yeah, I know. Computer. Computer. I have a Apple every day to graphic, Mattia. And no. Skype says, no, Windows. Come no. on. <laughs> I am for t shirt, he is for, for shirts. Oh. Like, yeah, sorry, sorry, like this. They so end you up. were. You you didn't like the idea that people were now selling these, or minting them, and like spending money on these because people have now sold them for for multiple ETH, right? Yeah, uh, I was worried that people uh, will use that um, tool to do something bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clone X copy uh, to put dicks inside <laughs> to uh, <laughs> yeah. but then Sky Gop to me is a social experiment. They have to do whatever they want. It's part of 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 of, of the of of the the performance. Mm -hmm. And this is another thing that is super cool about working with Sky Sky Gop. We have already dreams. To not do only art, this kind of art, but to push even more the limit. And this is for me the, the idea of freedom, okay? Because if one day we decide to play around with electronic stuff, okay, we will do it. We, we want to, to play music, we will do it. DJ set, okay, design of shirts and so on, we will do it. It's not a problem. If we mm -hmm. really need to do that thing, because our souls, tells us to do that thing. I am more technical, he is more philosophical. Yes, we balance together. But anyway, the forces and the energies go every time in a precise, in a precise way. And I really like, and even, even when, when I was playing around with, with people with the synthesizers and so on, I, I wasn't able to have bandmates like him. So for me, it's really cool. I agree with that. Um, he's a great collaborator and you guys yeah. definitely collaborate like super well. Um, I love the balance that you bring to the work and I, I love the I love the idea of the coded selfie thing. And like, I think it's super funny how you were, you know, uh, you know, worried. And then Sky is like, just whatever happens, happens. You have to let it play out as the performance in itself. And I think that's super true. It's like, uh, it's like, what can you do? Uh, you, you just hold a mirror up to the people, you know? Yeah, you, you show them exactly. Like, if they do, if they do the... it, like, that's on you. We didn't do that. You did that. Marina Marina Abramovic of, yeah. of NFTs. Whatever happens, <laughs> happens. Maybe you, 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 maybe you will not understand what is this performative thing, but you can pay for it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it might. Yeah. <laughs> there, People may there, get offended, and all these kind of things could happen. But you know, it's part it's, of it. It's not our fault. It's always people that are doing things, and who we are to to say people what they have to do or what they have not. We exactly. Are only artists putting out our idea and our thing, and then they will do the rest. All exactly. The rest. I think all uh, the rest. Well, all the rest. There you go. It keeps on coming up. Um, yeah, I think uh, the more. The more I, uh, the more this idea comes up, you know, of like, um, I don't know. 
I guess you, you kind of threw me out. You, you threw me for a loop with the, all the rest thing. And I just was like, boom, you know, I just, yeah, I had something in mind. And then you said the, all the rest. <laughs> and I'm like, there it is again. And then I lost my thought. But I think um, the project is beautiful, obviously. Um, yeah. If if people want to look at this, they can go to all the rest.io. Um, I know all of the coded selfies are also on OpenSea. Uh, people got pretty creative with it, which I thought was one of the cooler things about the project because personally, I know Sky sent me the link and he's like, oh, mint yourself, bro. And I then was like, oh man, pressure. Um, I got a thing. Pressure. What did I do? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was like, I, I sat there in front of it and then I saw myself, you know, coded and I was like, I don't want to, I don't want a picture of myself. And I was like, you know what, who's to say I have to. And I just took a picture of like a chair and a table and stuff. And I was like, I love this. And then I saw what some other people did. And I was like, well, now this is interesting too, that people are using this in a different way. And like, you're really hitting on a lot of different notes, I think, uh, on multi layers with the project, which is super cool. And is this something that you plan to, to is there going to be like a phase two of this or is this a continuous project? Yes, we want to do another phase and want to do also more collaborative physical pieces. But now the, the moment of the blockchain and so on is not really good. So we are taking time to to create other stuff. I am I am focusing with the time foldables and also other plans that I cannot tell you because they are super secret. Yeah, super secret plans. Tell <laughs> no. me a little bit more about the time foldables. Can you show us some stuff? You said you could give us a studio tour maybe. Show yep. us a little bit of. Yeah, I have, all, I have also my, my song here. So I will try to, to not uh, take him on the camera. I have this collaborative piece here. The, the clouds is not mine. It's from uh, Simone Miani. I have done my, wow. my blocky thing on it. Then upstairs, is that an oil painting? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. We have find out uh, how to to use oil painting huh. with rubber stamps. Wow. With with the, the colors, uh, beautiful, wonderful choice with the orange. Yeah, yeah. In fact, it was. It was that thing. Find the orange, yeah, because yeah. I, I have my mind stuck with that orange. And then here there are some some proofs of prints and so on, and some stupid stuff. This is from uh, man. This is cool. This this is from from the Metaverse uh, Dreamverse uh, exhibition. Uh, Black box uh, Sparrow gave it to me. And we have this thing with Rob Ness because we had a dinner with him. And so we, we find out the oh, way to do, to cool. do, to, to do the, the um, uh, ta table names. How do you call it? And I don't know. Like a place card. Oh, place card, exactly. Then also other other prints, other stuff. This Whoa, one, that one's crazy. Yeah. Uh, still, I don't know what to do with this stuff. I don't know. Yeah, they, man. They, they, cool. they stay there from 2000 and something. <laughs> yeah, this is one rubber stamp. This is oh. ink syrup. This is an old IKEA. This is the new one. You cannot see no shining, no mirror, no things. And this is, and this is the the the, oh. the glass. This one is from Dynamo Camp, for the Dynamo Camp uh, uh, thing with the kids uh, in, in Milan. Another secret. This is that from, is amazing. Uh, Irene Beltrame. I will not tell you what is that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I will tell you in private. Okay. Wow. This is cool. the, 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 the font exactly, and then I have a small installation. Oh wow! Oh shit! I have broken my ass. <laughs> what is this? Tell me more. This is cool, and it's on a pallet. Even it's like an envelope. Okay. Wow. I will not tell you what is inside of the packet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I love that it's sitting on a pallet. Wow. Are you going to show this? Is this for, have you shown that in a gallery or a museum? Not or? yet. Not yet. It was supposed to do be used for that, but then also the COVID arrived. COVID. Yeah. yeah but you yeah. will. But I mean, that looks yeah. awesome. That's super yeah. cool. Your studio looks great. Like yeah, really cool. it's really messy, my friend. <laughs> I love a messy I, studio. I, I, I am trying to do my best. So time foldables. They arrive this way at your home. <laughs> in the physical, wow. in the physical part. Because 
This started because in the first days I wasn't able to have a studio. Now I have it. So I yeah. was taking copies from home to the studio, from home to the studio. I have got to fold them this way. You can unfold them and you can put it on the table like this, like a small sculpture. <laughs> if you want to, I don't care. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> or you can hang it with three nails. Wow. Uh, now I, I have I have finished my on the floor. Is that a canvas? Yeah, it's a canvas created with a grid, uh, the canvas that you use in inkjet machine. Inkjet okay. Machine. So I prepare them with the service and then I fold it with the machine oh, wow. that you use. But the, the thing is that there are some pieces of, of, um, of the black that will fade away, like, like I told you. Uh -huh. Oh, so this I... is China ink and will never go away. But this blue, bluish, black, bluish one will fade away. Will fade away really bad. They become really brownish oh. after 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 one year almost. And so that was the first idea uh, for me because I have sold two pieces to do two collectors. I told him, "Oh my God, what do you have to do now?" <laughs> they, they will fade away. I have to find out a solution. Oh, my, but I am a, a digital artist. I can do whatever I want. So these time foldables are the tools to create the NFTs for me. This kind of bridge, bridge, bridge yeah. and the folds are are part of the of the artwork. But I am ready also to do the canvas. I have also to also all to understand how to 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 ship them in the world like an artist, because in Italy it's always too complicated. But I will figure out. But yeah, of course, this is, this I is love the, it. The, the, the solution for the moment. Then a lot of colors. I have also used this really good red now. Yeah. yeah, I have found some colors that I like. You know, I don't like colors too much, but these colors are okay for me. You handle colors really well, I think. You do. Your now, are pretty nice. now, I want to recreate my color system, the hexagonal one. You can find it in Super Air. I have created like this um, um, algorithmic algorithm to create this mm. figure in, in hexagons. And then every part of the hexagon, you can detach it and there's another color. I want to do it with real colors. So I will do the, the, the triangular rubber stamp, equi equilateral, equilateral, equilateral triangle <laughs> for rubber stamps, and then redo these colors to recreate my system of colors with that. Is an idea that is going. Because, because now I, I've got the, 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 the acrylics, with these acrylics, Liquitex, I can have almost the same, the same shading. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not is not like the water base because the water base it was the best one, but the water base tends to fade away. So I have to figure out uh, every time is a little bit different. But it's okay because now because now I can play around also with with colors. I always I always had the, this idea. To not use what other people was using. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's because, how you find your unique because, voice. Because I, I, I'm not, uh, I, I, I haven't done uh, schools of this. Mm -hmm. So who cares about what I am supposed to do with the inks and pigments? I will do whatever I want. I find my way. I do my test. I put the, the, the test like if I was a technician in the sun in the <laughs> microwave to in water to try to do how, how it works out. And I figure out my, my way. And also I write down every time what I use. So Oh, you do. You I, keep I, track. I try that's to smart. do my best. I try to do my yeah, best. I, I do also all the other things to find out the colors. I do some small, uh, small, small um, 
small tests. Let me see if I can find out. This is a thing. And this is the first stamp of all the rest. I don't know oh, cool. <laughs> That's cool to see. And the paper one with the colors, I cannot find it. Oh, well. Yeah, I, I do I do this this test, this this uh, pieces of, of, of paper with all the color mixer together. I write down what what colors I use. Yes, I try to keep track, but the best colors are here. Yeah, of course, all up in the head. Yeah, always. And this is the black how goes after I get this is cool. Wow. The other black that you can you can see, sorry, because it's mirrored and I find out myself always this black. Is um, is China ink, and this it's is the brown. The the brown one is the water based. So I like it. I like how it browned. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's not bad. No, it's cool looking. It's an, it gives yeah yeah it's but, just different. But but, but, but in my in my head was all wrong because yeah I, I was supposed to create something that would stay forever. I was using the canvas for inkjet prints. So water-based ink with the water-based ink and, 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 and the, the shooting didn't match. I don't, I don't know how it's possible. <laughs> um, uh, they, it reminds me of, I just saw this the other day and I'm not a, do you know who Jerry Saltz is, the art critic? Yep. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of his or anything, but every once in a while I say something that makes sense or that I like. And like he said, uh, he, he tweeted the other day, he's like, you know, artist, uh, you know, your mistakes, you know, are your style. And I was like, that's pretty good. You know, like that's, that's pretty true. Like, you know, the, the things like that, like all these unintended things that are happening that you're talking about, that you'll do it however you want, you know, we don't have any rules. That's the exact things that make, you know, your own style, make you unique, et cetera. So like, I, it's very cool to hear you talking about this and to hear you, um, hear you say it, but then also to see it. I really appreciate the, uh, the studio tour that we just got was awesome. I mean, I was, delighted by that that is like everything one day, I, I one really day you, you'll be here next Absolutely. time you come you come to venice then you take a train two hours from venice Oof. are you, you are close in... to milan are you near no, milan or... I, I'm, I'm i'm closer i'm two hours by train from venice and one hour enough from ljubljana but i am not close to milano okay okay maybe me and sky will have to come together to your place one time i'm visiting out there that would yes, be a really please. great time yes please Absolutely. I wanna ask, um, uh, you know, as we're wrapping up, uh, I want to ask, though, how you got into the NFTs, because you talked about it earlier, you know, mm -hmm. 2018, I think you said. And if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken, you said your first mint was on Known Origin. Yep. OK, so how did you first find out about NFTs? Like, where did like I will did somebody start, introduce you? Or, yeah. I will start from DeviantArt, OK? Deviant art. Deviant art. Yep. Okay. In the same in the same days, I was uh, was uh, working in the electronic firms. I find out the photocopy machine and deviant art on the web because at home I didn't have the internet connection. And I told myself, oh, so there is people like me, no school that put on the web what they create, and someone other people writes down, oh, this is cool, oh, this is shit. Perfect. <laughs> when was this? When like what year was that? Uh, 2005, okay. 2004. I don't know. We have we have to, to find out in the in Divian No, I'm just wondering. Yeah, like, but that's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. Like, because I know what you're talking about, and I remember Deviant Art. It's still around. Deviant Art is getting yeah. into Web three. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, carry on. Yeah, and so that days I was uh, doing my my small photographies with the first digital uh, cameras and my Xerox artworks and some other stupid thing about graphic design. And then arrived Facebook and we have tried to figure out how to promote what we have done in DeviantArt in Facebook. There wasn't basically interest in what we have done. So DeviantArt killed. I, sometimes I was used to put my, my artworks in Facebook, but with really, really uh, low interest. Then one day in the summer of 2018, the guy uh, behind the moniker uh, HEX6C, HEX6C, is Massimo Franceschetti, the, the, the Italian, 
is an, an Italian uh, university doctor. So she also uh, makes studies about blockchain, about uh, nets and so on. Was one of the first Italians at the university that was starting to collaborate with Akatao. Okay. Mm. So he told me, oh, Mattia, this, your work is good. You have to put in the blockchain. What does it mean? <laughs> he told me one time. He told me two times. At the third time, I told myself, what do I have to do? Install MetaMask. And then after that, silence. <laughs> silence after that. OK, let me understand what is this thing. I have got a small bunch of Bitcoin in that days. And MetaMask in that days also have got this, this thing that was called Shapeshift. Uh, if, if I remember well, you put inside Bitcoin and then you find out uh, uh, Ethereum. Uh, mm. And with that small bunch of Ethereum and then try, um, asking a uh, super rare and asking no knowledge to be whitelisted, I have started all this thing. I never put any more money <laughs> inside of this thing. Wow. Crazy. Really? Crazy. Never, ever. <laughs> Dude, that's a I, cool story. I, I've got like... 25 bucks of, of bitcoins, something like this, but really, really small. Then we have got cent that was, was really cool to start with because when you put a content, you earn the cents of Ethereum, okay, cent of dollar of Ethereum, and that day was okay. You, 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 you can't, you, you was able to create art with a, with a small bunch of, of money. So basically, the, the first Bitcoin thing, and then at the cent, I have tried to 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 create art with this thing, and then everything exploded after 2020. And you know, yeah. it's really it's wow. really crazy. It's really crazy if I think about the, the very first days and all the steps that that I put together. And let me say, I am an artist now. What are you doing? I am an artist. This place, I, I rent this place to make art because people buy my, my art. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my mother says, oh, what are you doing? Man, it's like this. I, I, have, I have to put down the bureaucracy thing because I sell this, this stuff for $1,000. What do I have to say more? Music and drawings. <laughs> oh, it's like this. It's a beautiful thing, man. I love it. Um. You know, you, you said earlier, too, uh, that I wanted to ask about uh, something about you have a nonprofit. Yep, it's called Caleido, Caleido Scienza, that in Italian means is, is, is like a, a, a matching of two words. So Caleidos is beautiful in Greek and Scienza is science. So basically, it, 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 it aims to be a, educative and recreational and also to, to, to put, uh, to, to make the divulgative science. So we create uh, laboratories for kids, but also for grown-ups in a non-common non way. We, are, we don't do a frontal school, but we do laboratories like uh, putting together a banana and alcohol to extract DNA and find out the, the, the bunch of DNA like or play with colors and additive uh, additive uh, color technique and subtractive and also what we have got but physics we have got one lab about the blood about uh, um, different uh, type of bloods so when you you have got uh, type a type b you know that they are not compatible and mm -hmm. so kind of things to let people understand better what is science that science is not this thing that you cannot reach but basically it's all around the house uh, only with, with a bit of, of research you can find out the beauty of science and this is the because the name of Kaleido Scienza. that's awesome when did you start this uh, it's like uh, 12 years ago really with my, with my girlfriend Okay. And then my girlfriend also pushed me to do the graphic things and uh, graphic school. And so basically I'm here also because of her. Wow. I was thinking for some reason that would be something that you started recently or something, but you've been doing that for a long time, like a decade now. No, no, it's, it's like it's like a decade. Yeah, I am yeah. I'm pretty stressed out of that thing. <laughs> yeah, because 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 I cannot do everything really well now that the time that i need to create art and the focus i have to be there because these are the years to to hammer the iron mm -hmm. 
to write down the name and then after this year, three, four years, I don't know how much, when I would got, I would got the, the galleries and so on, the collectors, I would slow down. I don't know how it works because it's a new work. <laughs> Come on. It's the first well, time in history. Oh, you're right. You you write the rules yourself as we go along. So, you know, do do whatever it seems that uh, is pulling you towards it. And it seems that you're really good at that because it seems like you do so much stuff. Um, yeah, I am. It's just unreal. Like, and so you, you know, now that we know each other better, I like, will bother you to ask you, how can I do this? <laughs> please, anytime, any, anytime. And I would love to collaborate at some point, too. I love all of your collaborations. I would love to work with you on something. Absolutely. Really black black and white with Excel. Yeah. <laughs> I love that piece behind you again. That's a beautiful piece. Is that new? Yeah, yeah, it's from last year because I, I was I was able to to be um in Slovenia. We have the in Italy, in Fluri, we have the Collio. That is uh, the place where we produce wine, and then there is a part of Slovenian Collio that is called Brda, and in that place they have uh, this uh, this thing that they invite from one week the artists, and they match uh, wine producers and uh, artists, and this is produced in, in in that week. I have produced oh, wow. three, three pieces, one like this that is in the personal collect collection of the. Of the place then i have got one more canvas i have created this and then i have rolled it up and taken it home and then there is the third one that is on metal with with the um, with the the painting of graffiti guys how do you call nitro nitro the the, the paint of, of of cars how do you call it in english the paint of cars like the, 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 the spray can the, 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 but but this is the the metal the metal the metal ink the, the ink ink that you paint oh, metal, the, fuck, the, the smelly the smelly one the, that has got that that enamel that thing okay and yes, I, yeah, I, have, I have I have used uh, wood wood um, stamps because you use one time then you throw away because yeah. everything goes so there is a, a metal one that is for Gorizia Nova Gorizia city of uh, science 2025 there is this city in friulimenza giulia that is called gorizia but it was always one one city but is in the middle between italy and slovenia so it's gorizia nova gorizia and they have matched together for the european uh, science week very cool what can i show you more i don't know because yes how long have you been in this studio Basically, I am here in this co-working space since 2017, 18, uh, 17, 17. In the first year, I wasn't paying nothing. It was you know, like like, like uh, someone that you don't want in your place. But it, <laughs> so now I'm paying a lot of money just just to. Just oh wow! To, this yeah. circular shape is that's beautiful. What is that? Yeah. From? I don't know. <laughs> it's too old. This is oh. the, the very first paper cut art, the prototype, oh. photocopied and uh, and uh, glued Holy together shit. with with with, with uh, that's with, insane with, with tape. Very rare because I don't wow. do people, but this no, is too yeah, you're, you're <laughs> gonna work, but they're beautiful. Yeah. Somehow and some way they will come out from here one day. I don't know. This one, another prototype. This this is already tokenized, maybe. Whoa. I don't know, maybe something similar. Is that generative? Nope. Is the is the Xerox machine that is locked down and uh yeah. The drain. The, the, these are, are, are some some textures from photographies from a friend of mine that is tokenizing wow. now in, in object. Uh, this one, I have lost the file. I don't know where is it. That's insane. Though. That's so cool. You could scan those, right? One day I will tell you how do I scan this. And then I have the printed, 
to print the, the proofs of uh, the final defined the, the, the first series of uh, generative things and then i have some some stuff like this that's so cool that i never published because i want to do a generative project about it so something. you have so much work like you're, you're so prolific you have, yeah. like you when, how, when how i do you? when i do time foldables for example i always have a bunch of paper uh, under the desk and i take out and just to clean up the, the yeah, tools to create more art yeah. <laughs> i totally get it i love that yeah how often do you how often are you working in the studio every day Almost every, every, day? every day because um, i was used when i was an uh, employee to wake up in the morning take the car go to the work go back to home and, yep. oh, and also there was this uh, local artist that in the 80s was really famous it's called carlo Ciussi. and they have told me that when he was uh, uh, become famous and a lot of money in the 80s and the 80s were a lot of money for the art uh, he told everybody the only thing i have done to rest sane is to have the studio near the home and do like the employee of myself going out Go to work, go back, talk with them, uh, with the, with this woman, with his his, uh, uh, with his sons and so on. Take care of of child and uh, have dinner together and blah, and then go back to work every day like this. I can employ, it. and I basically I force myself to do this. I have also the kid uh, that to to, mm -hmm. to take it to school every morning. So that also another thing that saves my life, because if I didn't have it, uh, I know myself I. I get uh, out late uh, and go out. So late. the routine I... helps you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I find that as well in my practice, like uh, some form of it's it's not even a limitation, but it's just some sort of form to your life, you know, like helps. Because so you when... automatize something. You don't have yeah, to think yeah. about it. And exactly. Then, OK, something happened. And also, I do another thing to recycle. The, the last thing I will show you. Uh, sometimes there are scraps, there are things I throw away. I have uh, find out a way to reassemble them, and this oh, is a, 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 a really this is this is tokenized in in known origin with the glitches because I scan it with the glitches. But they are collage, collage, and I put wow. together all the rubber stamps and other things. I want to practice more with this, also with three dimensions. But I have to understand how to. I know when things get into three dimensions, it gets way trickier, doesn't it? It adds a lot. Yeah, it's not bad. You no, know, it's good, but it's, even like it's, lighting, it's you have to think about how to light a three-dimensional object, you know? That's beautiful. Yeah, but you know, if you work also with other tools, I suppose that you can also involve other people. Because when you do this, you can do it by yourself, okay. But when you do bigger things, for example, I, I need I need a photographer to photograph this thing, and also I photography the first layer and the second layer, so I can have this three dimensional thing. And you can involve more people, and then they ask about your practice, and maybe you create other artists. Who knows? Yep. This Absolutely. Is the, the, the best thing. I have plenty of these collages. These are great. Where and you said these are minted on known origin, at least some of them. I have something in known origin and something was in the Pixura smart contract that is now inside of Super Rare 2. Got you it. You can find it, yeah. This one are, are the best ones with color. Oh, wow. Oh, I love the gesture this. of this. Yeah, what is yeah, it, this? This is something that I have recycled also from, from comics or, or from, um, um, from pieces that make Masson has done Very this playful. See, this is with something from comics and this part awesome. yeah this part yeah i don't do i don't do them so often i try to 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 stay to stay away from that shortcuts okay this is one of, of the last wow that's with the, 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 piece, the piece upstairs is is from the, the drawing that you have seen. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, I get you. I, 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 I like the piece on the right too. 
The other one is oh, beautiful. Oh, no. Shit. I like it. I like it. I will give it like, to you because I don't like it. Um, You're so organized. You're really organized. <laughs> I mean, these books are I try, really well. I try, I try to. <laughs> I force myself. Okay, I say... I, I buy this so I can do this. I try that's, to. Yeah, that's nice. And then happens I that I, 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 I change the format of the paper and then they, they don't go inside. <laughs> Come on, this is stupid. And then we have got this, this, this thing, me and my son, that is recreated um, accidental contemporary. This is a, a thing. A game, a, a, a mind game that we are playing, me and my son, and maybe one day will something will happen with this. I love how you're making the art with your son. Um, something similar. It's like a collaboration. And then I show you my treasure. This oh, shit. is my treasure. <laughs> after so after 15 days that me and Sky Goffer was playing around with this stuff and things, Whoa. I received the, this, this bunch of paper at my home and I told to Sky, are you stupid? Are you crazy? Oh, I don't care. Take them. I have six, or six originals from him. Those are cool. <laughs> and I have already two at home um, in the frames because they need a frame because they are too beautiful to come out. Then I need a frame. This guy is really to... funny like that. Yeah. This guy is really yeah. funny. Like he, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's so conceptual. Like he's Absolutely. so just up here that it seems that like the physical artworks and the whatever he's like, yeah, do whatever you want. That's great. This is great. Did, Which is did, so you, did you work free. together? Did you work together in the studio? Not yet. Not yet. If, <laughs> if we are messy, like I have seen also in your studio, you don't know yeah. how can, how can Mati and can Sky Golpe can be messy. Really? <laughs> it was so crazy with the with the feet on the arms. Come on, are you stupid? No, what is that? Mess? You clean up the thing. And then one oh, day after, after a dinner, I was I, I was with, with, with this shirt and, and not the despair of, of of trousers, but a beautiful one after the, the dinner. And now we go in the studio. But yeah, you know how I work with things and so on. I get all 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 messed up. Okay. I, 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 will, I will print naked, I told him, because it was the only solution. So I am, I am with, 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 without the trousers. <laughs> oh, I am like this. How oh, do you care? Well, go fuck up. <laughs> I love this uh, picture you're painting of you without pants on in the studio. With yeah, Sky you know, at, at 2 a.m. At 2 a.m. Only because Sky, I thought, okay, we go to print. But what? Oh I have God. to finish dinner. In fact, <laughs> I have told him, next time we work together, I wake up in the morning at 6 a.m., 7, whatever. I go to the studio. We do the briefing at 12 at lunch. Then you go to lunch at 2, 3, whatever you want. I do my uncle's, uh, how do you say, when you go to, 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 to sleep after lunch? Uh, or you just take a nap. Take a nap, okay. I wake up at four, we will see together what we have done, then we go to dinner. Because it's the only sort of great game. Yeah, that's a better way. One, one week of madness it was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like fun now. It sounds like you guys have a good time. I am 43 years old. I am not rock and roll no more. I, can, <laughs> I, can, still I, young. I cannot. I cannot. Still afford. so young. Thank you. Well, what else uh, do you have coming up? Uh, is there anything I know, like you said, like, you know, the market conditions yeah. right now, you know, not that that really matters to us, but it is, like you said, a really good time to work and build. And I'm doing the same. I know a lot of us are. Uh, do you have anything planned coming out? Projects. They am still postponing, postponing, postponing. The first one is the XXXXXX haste. We have uh, named it because I have put out a, a shot of us with, with this uh, uh, big uh, truck, let's say, and someone have said, oh, you are preparing a haste. <laughs> you are preparing something. And so we I, have yeah. named it XXX haste, and this will be a collaborative, a collaborative uh, project between four uh, for for splits, so it's me mm -hmm. is uh, Luca Bless and Devino, 
for the graphic logo type. Uh, there are the guys that we have done, the time-lapse video, they are called Grain Studio. And also, at last, we have found out these guys also from here that are producing a small capsule um, hydro, 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 hydrophonic microphone, so they can go inside of water. Oh. Yeah, they are really, really great th uh, things. They are called uh, organic audio, and they have uh, done the, the audio part, let's say, and something will be tokenized. I cannot tell you what is it, because okay. it's a secret, because no one yes. knows what that is this like case about, but is linked from my uh, best in the music. This one, okay. um, this sounds really exciting. I'm really excited to see what happens. The list of collaborators. Yeah. It, will be, it, will be, it will be on known origin because known origin okay. gives you the power to do a lot of things. So it will be the split with all the logotypes of the people inside that for me is really important to push them. And also inside of the token, you find another link to another version of what you will see. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Uh, and shout out More to Blessend, less. Luca. Excuse me? I ah, shout, shout out, out to Blessend. Yeah, yeah. yeah just it's it's, re out. it's um, really cool. We have worked one year to take out outside of that uh, <laughs> of that uh, thing of doing also corporates. And forward. now he's super, super pumped out. <laughs> it's even, it's even uh, more mad than us, I suppose. And then another thing that I want to do, and now uh, more than than, uh, uh, than ever, is this distanced object things because we have always uh, these two years uh, um, experienced the social distancing. Then I have produced this object of distance. Okay, so I have a bunch of uh, paper sculptures. And they have photographed them, and then they have find out how to put in three dimensions. And they want to give everybody one of these, and everybody can do a remix or whatsoever with this. So will be the first idea of a mega collaborative massive project. Mega. I love it. Yeah, so because I told everybody, yes, we will do a collaboration. Yes, we'll do a collaboration. And then I do always collaboration with Skycorp and with no other. <laughs> Well, now you can collaborate with everybody. I love that. Yeah, but it's a lot of work. And you know, I am too much inside of my mind to to put outside some energy. I don't know how to explain better this thing. I am, I get angry with myself also, but it's this way. I understand. I think it's just, that's, you know, the way of the artist, you know, and it, it knows those things uh, are what make you who you are, like those... Um, when you run up to those issues or whatever, it's like, those are the times, those are the moments where you make the decisions that kind of make you who you are or whatever, decide what path you're going down. And, yeah. and with that, um, it's been an hour and a half of, of pleasure speaking with you for me, like the studio tour that you've given us, it's definitely the most visual episode we've had. I, I definitely will I'm uh, urge everybody to sit at the computer and watch this because getting a studio tour like that for me is a, a true treat um, not every artist is uh, as open and welcoming as you are to, to show us. Yeah, video like I, that. I, I have no secrets. I have only a, a messy studio with my <laughs> with my son that is waiting for me. That basically I have to have go to dinner. <laughs> He's hungry over there. Like, come on, Dad. No, no, but much. we really appreciate your time. Like, you're a true you so like much. artist in every sense of that word, as far Thank as I'm you. concerned. And the, like the the. The I'm, I can't come up with the word even, but you have such a, a great spirit within this space and just in general that truly comes through in everything that you say within the space and everything that you do within this space. And I, I always appreciate your comments hold a little bit more weight. Your, you know, your likes, uh, they, no, they no, I, I'm, I'm loving them. I'm, I'm blushing, you know, I'm blushing. <laughs> So, well, with that, I'll just say thank you again. I can't wait for everything that you have coming up. I can't wait to visit you in your studio and see that yep. stuff in person sometimes. Uh, and just where can we find you online? I know on Twitter, it's it's fairly easy, but you're on Known Origin. You're on Super Rare. You're on Object. You're just everywhere, right? Yeah. From Twitter is the best uh, solution because you find me uh, Twitter slash Mattia C. 
is from the early beginnings when I, uh, I, 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 I wasn't Mattia Cutini, you know, I wasn't yeah. Mattia C. But then I have to myself, okay, it's Mattia Cutini, who cares? So yeah. from, the, from the Twitter point, you can reach me out, you can find me, you can write me, you can find also Super Rare, no origin, also all the marketplaces. Well, thank you again for your time. Super looking forward to everything that you are going to be bringing to all of us in the future.